This show is being brought to you courtesy of Queen of Queens Productions Modeling and Management. and the sacrifice which so many have made they have come from the cities and the farms and every section of our land they have lived in different times and they have fought in different battles on different fields and they gave up two lives the one they were living, and the one they would have lived. I ask every American to find a way to thank the men and women who are defending our freedom. You who once wore the uniform of our Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, or Coast Guard. These American heroes risked everything so that you and I can live in freedom. To all of our incredible veterans, to the people in the military, thank you. God bless you. God bless the United States. Of America. Thank you very much. He had to educate me. <laughs> and uh, he taught me a lot. He's always taught me a lot growing up <laughs> on what is normal. You know, you create your own normal. How does blank, blank, blank? Your garden grow. You know, and I would laugh and say, well, you know, my lesbian daughter ended up turning out to be my straight son. <laughs> My closest friends at work I don't know. Um, they know, you know, my daughter's in the military and is a, in the, you know, military MP and the police. And I keep a few people informed on, you know, hey, he's going to, or she's going to Afghanistan. You know, it's like, you know, I wanted to, I want to be able to talk with some people at work about, you know, because I am proud. I mean, we're mechanics, you know, we're men mechanics and everybody's got their opinion. But there's usually one opinion when it comes to um, this, this situation. Now, if they knew Logan's circumstance, I think they'd write me off as a friend. And you know, and I almost, I, I almost second guess myself, do I really need these people as friends? And right now, their opinion of my daughter being in the military is the one that I'd like for them to have. It's honorable. But as soon as I would possibly mention that, I think they're gonna do a 180, and I don't want their opinion of me or of my son to be that. The military has you in these compartments, and you have to fit into a certain group. And Logan didn't fit in. I felt to blame. I was like, gosh, did I do that? Just saying, be yourself, be who you are? I don't know where where the mix-up was, if you want to call it that. And you know what, maybe I'm mixed up. Maybe that's the norm, <laughs> you know, I don't know. But I know that God created these people, this person, and you need to accept that person for what that person is. Logan is the most caring person, and that's what really matters to me. The bottom line is this is an American going fighting for your liberties that you have here. Thank you for your service. Secretary of Defense James Mattis is reportedly appalled by the president's decision to ban transgender people from serving in the military. Shame, 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 shame. 
Thursday, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, General Joseph Dunford, released this written statement. There will be no modifications to the current policy until the president's direction has been received by the Secretary of Defense, and the secretary has issued implementation guidance. In the meantime, we will continue to treat all of our personnel with respect. Welcome to the newest and innovative talk show, Ladies of Society, with your host, Queen. The black butterfly herself, tune in to the hottest new show as Queen brings you the news from her queendom of controversy. 